Hi, this is Tech Tips with Brittany, and today I'm going to show you how to create an event playlist using shortcuts. So, for argument's sake, let's pretend like someone, maybe me, was about to have a small event. Maybe something like a glorified elopement. You want to have a little bit of music, but it's not a big enough event to really hire a DJ. What you really need is something simple enough that you can hand it to your brother and say, at this time, push this, maybe with a title that says so. So what we're going to do is create some shortcut playlists for our event. Because I don't want to actually be searching for each song, I'm going to create a few short playlists over in the music app. I'm going to scroll down and find the song I want, and then I'm going to add it to a playlist. And I'm going to create a new playlist. And no, I'm not going to name it after the only song. This one actually only has one song. There we go. It has the one song. Perfect. So then we're going to grab the next song. I'm going to do the same thing. Add to playlist. New playlist. The reason that these are separate playlists is because we might still be doing something when the previous song ends. It's better to be silent than to have the wrong music playing, right? After we have the Imperial March for walking down the aisle and the metal ceremony music for the ceremony, at some point, I guess people will eat cake or something. We're going to be as obnoxious with it as possible. What we're going to look for first is Canto Bite. I'm going to add that one first. What I'm hoping is that this one will be innocuous enough that nobody pays attention to it. And also, you know, it makes me giggle. Then, Lopty Neck, not Jedi Rocks, I will fight you. Then, I'm assuming people will be ready to go, but if not, we'll make sure they're ready to go by playing the Cantina song over and over again. Cantina Band. So we'll add this to the playlist. Refreshment start. And then add it again. <laughs> Refreshment start. Add again. I like that they double check to make sure you really want to add that playlist again, but. Let nobody say we weren't willing to go really far for a really stupid joke. If you might not have internet connection though, make sure you've downloaded all of your playlists. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a folder in Shortcuts. Create a new folder, and we're going to call it Wedding Playlist. Awesome. I'm going to put it up at the top because I don't actually expect my brother, hypothetically, to have to scroll all the way down. So here's the Wedding Playlist. The first thing we're going to do is create the Aisle Playlist. We're going to search in music. Now, within the shortcut, we just have to tell it to pull up the playlist and then play. Come down and get playlist. You only have to remember one of the words, so walk down aisle, play music. And you can say shuffle or whatever, but we want um, no repeating. Well, no shuffling, but it doesn't matter because it's only one song. And then. Save shortcut, and I'm going to number these to make it easy for my brother. And yes, I could have just as easily just numbered these in the playlist app. I don't know why that seems more error prone to me, but if we decide we want to add anything else to the ceremony, it's really easy to do it. You would just add it to the same shortcut. <laughs> the thing where I said I could always add something later if I forgot. I forgot something. So, you know what would be really not fun? The day of, you know, something like a wedding? Alerts on your phone that you were using to play the music went off. So, I'm going to go in and edit it for the first one, and I'm going to add do not disturb. Set do not disturb. Turn do not disturb to on until turned off. Yeah. So, that way... <laughs> will actually not be interrupted for things, which would be real great. Walk down aisle, give it a little heavenly glow. Sure, why not? And orange, because you know, Star Wars. 
Now, because the other shortcuts that I want to use are basically the same thing, just with different names, I'm just going to duplicate. Duplicate. And I'm going to change the title to number two. Okay, and then change the playlist. These don't do a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a really simple playlist, but this way I know that we can keep things in order and it's not very complicated. I mean, we're talking about, we're going to be there like an hour. And there we go. That's creating our event playlist using shortcuts. I'll see you next time. Grabbing a few items and we don't know when they're going to end. I can be more articulate than that.